Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, FAA issues TFRs in New Jersey due to questionable drone activity. Jared Isaacman nominated for NASA Administrator. Judge rejects Boeing plea deal over 737 MAX crashes. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. FAA issues TFRs in New Jersey due to questionable drone activity. The FAA has confirmed it issued two temporary flight restrictions in New Jersey covering the U.S. Army's Picatinny Arsenal in Dover and the Trump National Golf Club Bedminster in Somerset County. The restrictions were issued after requests from federal security partners and reports of questionable drone activity near the areas affected. The FBI is said to be investigating the reported sightings of mysterious drone activity over central New Jersey. One restriction covers an area near Solberg Hunterdon County Airport, which includes airspace over President-elect Trump's Bedminster property and will remain in place until December 8. The other one covering the Picatinny Arsenal will be in force until December 26. In a joint statement with the New Jersey State Police and Office of Homeland Security, the FBI said, quote, witnesses have spotted the cluster of what looked to be drones and a possible fixed-wing aircraft, end quote. The statement added that there are similar reports from both public and law enforcement, quote, dating back several weeks. The FAA also said in a statement, quote, safely integrating drones into the national airspace system is a key priority for the FAA. We look into all reports of unauthorized drone operations and investigate when appropriate, end quote. After the break, GoGo acquisition of SATCOM Direct completed. The legendary BD 4 c program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD 4 cs in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD 4 c that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. GoGo acquisition of SATCOM Direct completed. GoGo Business Aviation completed its acquisition of SATCOM Direct. GoGo is now reportedly the only provider of multi-orbit, multi-band, and flight connectivity for the needs of all segments of business aviation and military and government mobility markets. GoGo paid $375 million in cash and issued 5 million shares of GoGo stock to SD ownership and could pay up to an additional $225 million pending the attainment of performance thresholds over the next four years. The transaction, including all fees, was funded with $250 million of debt and $150 million of cash. Airbus plans cuts for over 2,000 defense and space jobs. Airbus will be cutting more than 2,000 employees from its defense and space sector. This decision comes amid heavy competition from Elon Musk's ever-growing Starlink constellation. The jobs represent around 5% of defense and space, Airbus's second largest department. This is significantly lower than projections from October, which forecasted 2,500 positions. Still, the cuts are likely to stir some drama with the manufacturers' unions and various government agencies. The cuts follow a rough few years for OneSat, Airbus's family of mid-market geostationary satellites. Neptune converts Airbus A319 for aerial firefighting. Neptune Aviation Services has begun transitioning its aerial firefighting platform to the Airbus A319. The provider is working alongside Aerotech and Concept to convert the aircraft, slated for completion by 2027's wildfire season. Neptune currently utilizes a fleet of BAE-146 tankers. The company now operates around nine. Though the aircraft is not the fastest or most efficient by modern standards, it has managed to get the job done during its 14 years of service. 
CAP Ohio Wing Cadets place first in High Altitude Balloon Challenge. For their experiment investigating the use of Faraday fabric to protect electronics from solar flares in the stratosphere and beyond, the cadets of the Civil Air Patrol Ohio Wings Cuyahoga County Squadron took first place in the CAP's fourth High Altitude Balloon Challenge. The squadron also won a $5,000 prize for their efforts. Second place went to the Wisconsin Wing Stevens Point Composite Squadron, who interviewed NASA specialists to learn how to adapt plant growth processes in the confines of space habitats. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Jared Isaacman nominated for NASA Administrator. Entrepreneur, pilot, philanthropist, and passionate spaceflight advocate Jared Isaacman has been nominated to be the next NASA Administrator announced by President-elect Donald Trump. Isaacman brings an exceptional passion for aviation and spaceflight to the table. As a 16-year-old, he founded Shift4, an online payment service which turned into a multi-billion dollar enterprise. He has used his wealth to subsequently become a pilot, an eventual founder and CEO of Draken International, a defense aerospace company that provides aviators and aircraft in training roles for the U.S. military. Isaacman, call sign Rook, is rated in several military jets and has appeared at EAA AirVenture with the Draken demo team flying his MiG-29 Fulcrum fighter, sporting the Draken paint scheme. He privately funded the Inspiration4 spaceflight using SpaceX's Crew Dragon in 2021 as part of a fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. He subsequently pledged a $100 million donation to the hospital. In addition, he commanded the Polaris Dawn private spaceflight, during which he became the first private citizen to perform a spacewalk. In a reply on X, Isaacman said, quote, I'm honored to receive President Trump's nomination to serve as the next administrator of NASA. Having been fortunate to see our amazing planet from space, I am passionate about America leading the most incredible adventure in human history, end quote. After these messages, Judge rejects Boeing plea deal over 737 MAX crashes. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury what matters most? Time. Experience the fury. Join the legacy. Welcome back. Judge rejects Boeing plea deal over 737 MAX crashes. U.S. District Court Judge Reed O'Connor rejected a plea deal reached between Boeing and Uncle Sam after the company said it would plead guilty to deceiving the FAA ahead of two fatal crashes of its 737 MAX. The judge cited issues he has with the selection process for the independent monitor required by the deal for oversight of safety and quality improvement at Boeing. In July, Boeing had agreed to plead guilty to one charge of conspiracy to defraud the United States. The plea agreement stipulated a fine of $487 million, far short of the $24.8 billion wanted by the families of the victims. Judge O'Connor specifically had problems with the idea that DOJ and not the court would be able to approve the selection of the monitor. O'Connor opined, quote, It is fair to say the government's attempt to ensure compliance has failed. At this point, the public interest requires the court to step in. Marginalizing the court in the selection and monitoring of the independent monitor, as the plea agreement does, undermines public confidence in Boeing's probation, end quote. Judge O'Connor also had a problem with DOJ saying that Boeing would have to consider race when hiring the independent monitor. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.